Okay, my biggest issue with the pedal board is that you need to power most of the pedals on here. The exception being the volume pedal, uh, which doesn't require any power. But this pedal here, which is the Zoom A3, works on uh, AAA batteries. This one here works on a 9 volt power pack battery, and this one works on a 9 volt power pack battery. Your options are that you actually use main supply, which means that the whole idea of you having a battery powered uh, PA system or a battery powered amplification system goes out the window because you're gonna need power for these, or you have to carry spare batteries for all of them and worry about having to change those batteries maybe in the middle of a session or else having to change them all before you start. And changing the batteries in something that's attached to a pedal board is quite difficult, or can be quite difficult. And changing the batteries in something like these uh, stomp pedals, you've got to undo a screw, open it up, unplug the battery, plug the new battery in, put the battery inside, close this down, turn this in, it just takes so much time. So if there was an easier solution, wouldn't you take it? And there is, and the easiest solution is uh, using a power pack. These are the type of power packs that you would use to recharge your phone or your iPad. However, these produce five volts, and these pedals, the majority of them, run on nine volts. So you need to be able to convert the power pack to a nine volt system. And for that, you need what I'm putting up on the screen now, and I'll show it to you here. This is a, what's called a bird cord, and this bird cord plugs into the power pack uh, through a USB. And once it's plugged into the power pack, it converts the five volts coming out of here to nine volts, which now can be used for these. The other thing that you will need is a daisy chain, and I'll show you what a daisy chain is in the photograph. And the daisy chain allows me to link all of the pedals together and then power them from one unit, which is this unit. This makes my life so much easier because a normal battery will have maybe 300 milliamp hours of power. And this little unit here has 20,000 milliamp hours. So this you could leave plugged in for an entire day and everything would still work. The likes of a Boss Looper and an FX pedal will chew through batteries. They really do use batteries very quickly. And if I'm buying cheap batteries and put them in the Boss Looper, um, I've had instances where that starts to give me trouble inside 15 or 20 minutes. With this three, four, five hours, and literally one of the lights goes out and I've got to charge it for a couple of hours when I get home, that's it. So really, really valuable. The other thing that this can be used for is this small amplifier here uses uh, AAA batteries or AA batteries and it uses six of them. And it's a pain in the behind changing those and carrying them around. This will actually power this as well and it will power it for days. It will actually power the pedal board and this all at the same time and I've had very small gigs where I've done that and had no problems whatsoever. The power pack would cost you about 30 something euro or pounds at 20,000 um, milliamp hours. I don't suggest you go for anything less than 10,000. The board cord is very reasonable. I think it was around 20 euro, something like that. Um, there may be other options now, but I can highly recommend those, the, the board court. It works really, really well.